Hey everybody, it's Dan at Colossal Vids and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are playing Little Devil. This is a game that I grew up playing on the Philips CDI, but they've also released it now on Steam um, as of 2014 um, for PC only. I believe this is the DOS version though. Um, as I say, you can now play it on Steam, which is great, but I grew up playing it on the CDI. This is basically a game where you play as a character called Mutt, who's obviously a devil, and you have to basically go through a huge maze of different corridors called the Labyrinth of Chaos to retrieve what's called the Mystical Pizza of Plenty. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just really tricky. It's full of puzzles, riddles, and it's a really, really, um, yeah, quite thought-provoking game, shall we say. So the first thing you basically have to do is basically get this guy to fall off the bridge. So pretty straightforward. Just keep hitting him with your stick. And there you go, it falls off. So pretty straightforward. Now obviously I've got the CDI version um, myself as a physical copy. And there are some slight differences as well. There's an actual an extra corridor Mutt walks through before he even gets to this maze, uh, which you don't see in this DOS version. So there we go then, this is the Labyrinth of Chaos, as I said. Um, oh, I think that was a spider. So you basically have to go through, going into different rooms, and just basically trying to figure your, figure your way around, really. So if we go down here, we kick this door open. I'm hoping this will be the shop, so I can just show you guys um, what you do. You basically buy items and stuff to help you get through some of the puzzles. There you go. So you've got spider spray, a bucket, and a nail or pin. Um, and they help you out with some of the puzzles. We don't have any money at the moment, so we're going to go and get some now. Now, this game was released on the Amiga CD32 and DOS in 1993, CDI in 1994, Microsoft Windows 2011, OS X 2013, and Linux in 2014. <sighs> yeah, watch out for the electric on the floor. There's also holes in the ground at some bits as well. So there you go. So try not to fall down those if you can help it. The apples help you with your life bar. If that gets down too low, you die. And also it goes down constantly as well. You can't stop it from going down. The longer you take, the less time you have, basically. So. But I really do like this game. As I said, I grew up playing it. It's great on the Philips CDI. Uh, although I know the Philips CDI is not a great system. Um, but there are a few gems on it, and um, for me, I do think that Little Devil is one of them. Oh, not that way. So here we go. So now we can buy um, Spider Spray and the Bucket. And I believe the version I'm actually playing is actually the DOS version, so... So I'm not used to this version, obviously, but it's got pretty much most of what's in the CDI version, so. So let's buy the spider spray and the bucket. And I'll show you what the spider spray does. There's a basic spider um, puzzle, believe it or not. Uh, no, this way. This, no. This way, that's it. There's also another corridor that Mutt actually walks down um, in the CDI version before you get to the actual puzzle itself. In the DOS version, obviously it's not there. Oh. I was right the first time. I, 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 I basically overthought it too much and second guessed myself. It's this one. And there's me turning, turning round and everything and I only had to go forwards. Right, so here we go. This is the spider, guys. Basically, you have to just, there you go, use the spray to um, get him. And if the spiders get too close to you, you stamp on them as well. If they hit you too many times, you get caught up in a web. Yes! And there we go. There you go. And there's the torch. That's not easy, but I think I was just lucky. So yeah, pretty uh, grim seeing his head explode, but there we are. So there you go. Right, now we can um, carry on this way, I think. We'll go this way. 
Oh, no, that's that was right. It's so easy to get lost in this labyrinth, it really is. But at least my health bar's gone up again. So, let's go this way. I oh, know, actually... Uh, I think there's a key this way first. There's a dead end, so it's worth checking this out because it's a dead end and then you can carry on after and go back. Ugh. Well, at least I've done one puzzle. <laughs> oh, it's not there. Oh, there is a key somewhere that unlocks another door later on. Just trying to think where it is. Oh, hang on. That way. <laughs> what? No, I'm trying to get out of that bit. There we go. Let's go this way then. This this is where the key is. It's this way. I just went a corridor too early. This is where a load of holes are and there's actually faces on the wall that throw out fire and water to try and get you. There you go. And sometimes that's actually completely unavoidable. So not helpful. Oh. Ugh. Really? And the thing is, it's really annoying as well. All this just for a key. And then going backwards, you can imagine it's even harder. Because you can't see. There we go. That's better. Oh, go away. Stop hitting me with water and fire and stuff. <laughs> Honestly, this is not good. Because your health bar goes down quite a lot as well. So it's a little bit unfair in my opinion. Nope. You want to go... Oh, let's go this way then. See, I can't see going backwards. This way. That's better. There we go. Right, this is another mini game, which is what we bought the bucket for. And it's basically a stepping stone um, kind of exercise, I suppose. You jump from stepping stone to stepping stone. They come out of the sewage, go back in again. You have to, have to jump on them when they're out of the sewage. And uh, at the end, there's actually an enemy that throws fire at you. You need to basically get to the last stepping stone while he's not throwing fire. And then Mutt, who you're playing as, will then put the bucket into the sewage, fill it out with sewage, throw it at the enemy, he disappears and you can carry on. If you go on the last stepping stone, as I say there, while he's throwing fire, then obviously you can imagine it's not good. So, we're going to go this... Oh, hang on. Oh, no! Ugh! Oh my god. I'm struggling to work out which arrow key to push to go down diagonally and up, and up diagonally. So that's what I'm struggling with at the minute. So apologies about that. Down, right, down, right. It didn't seem to do anything. <laughs> right, okay, let's do this. Down, right, d right, up, right. Fire. With a computer keyboard especially, because it wouldn't work with my Xbox 360 controller, that's really hard. Well, my health bar's not all the way down, so I can have another go. And if I really can't do this, I do apologise. so much easier on the CDI, because I've actually got a joypad for the CDI, like a proper controller. Right, let's go. Right, down, no, oh my god, I don't know, I'm trying to press right, which is the direction of the last stepping stone, but it's not doing anything, oh my god, no, he's just not, he's just not doing anything, the adrenaline's pumping now, that's not good, go, up, down, up, ah! Oh. I'm pressing it, honest to god, I'm pressing it. And I reckon I've only got one more shot of this as well. One more go. I'm not gonna do it, but it just gives you an idea. What happens is when you do defeat him, you basically carry on through the maze and it lets you carry on further and you can get to later on more difficult puzzles and just basically go down more corridors. But as I say, I've completed the first two worlds on the CDI, currently on the third, so it's not easy, but it's a really fun game if you like quirky little platformers, a little something different basically. Right, let's go, last one guys. 
Right, go. Up. Oh! I can't get the timing of the arrows and this, this, it's like there's a delay on it. It's really bizarre. Plus I'm not used to the DOS version even though I'm not making excuses. CDI version all the way. And a, and a kind of creature flew out of the sewage as well. Well, there we go, guys. I tried. I did try. Um, it does take a lot of patience and, you know. Oh, I'm going backwards now. Why am I going backwards? Why am I going back? Oh! That close. After three goes, he jumps out automatically. So you can't do it. You only get three goes. You can't have a fourth. Because he automatically just jumps out the level. And there's no way I'm going to get a chance to go back in. No. Too late. Oh, well, there we go, guys. I didn't want to make this too long. I know my Lost Castle one was a bit more because there's a bit more to the game and stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah. Plus, I didn't really... Well, I did die on Lost Castle, but, like, at least you've got a different character. You can change the route, whereas this would be the same again, so... Yeah, there's a torture chain, but it's a bit grim. So there we go guys, hope you enjoyed that little um, insight into Little Devil. If you've played it before, let me know. If you haven't, let me know what you think of it on a first insight. Have you played it on the CDI? Have you played it on the Amiga CD32? Um, did you get a chance to play it on the DOS back in the day? If so, let me know. As I say, it's great to have it on Steam now. So it was only released, really, um, you know, on the 19th of March 2014. It's only for PC though. Um, but as I said, really, really fun game and uh, yeah, really cool to see... Uh, it being released on, on Steam. Um, and it's pretty cool as well that the character of Mutt was created by a student um, at a primary school as well in a national competition, um, which won, which was really pretty cool. So thanks a lot, guys. Join me very soon for another gaming vid or some video of some sort. Let me know if there's anything you want to particularly see. Um, and uh, other than that, I'll see you guys very soon. Have a good one. Bye.